This is Peg Leg Craig. Well, that isn't. I am. And this is Lumo in front of us. I'm going to put him through the paces. Uh, just so you understand my situation, I am a handicapped person. I suffer from TBI. I have nerve damage that runs down my leg and my right arm. I don't drive a car. Alternate means of transportation are important to me. And uh, this is about the best thing. Well, not the best thing, because I do have my beautiful Uma the bike. But this is uh, pretty close. Now I'm going to uh, run this through. I'm going to try and give you a few different views of Lumo and some of the things that it does. And let's get started anyway. See the foot pedals? I'll tell you which way to get on. That's good. That's, that's designed for morons like me. Alright. Now, because of my problem, I would have a hard time getting on things like a hovercraft. Sometimes on a scooter I can have trouble. I have an electric scooter also. But this, not too bad. And it's so maneuverable, I have no worries. My backyard, not so much. Okay, I'm just cruising down the sidewalk on the Lumo. I'm going to take the street because it's smoother. Now, these are pretty cool tires it has. Hard to get a shot of them while I'm moving here, but uh, I still worry about them under certain conditions. And I would think that if I get a flat, I'm gonna have a hard time getting this stuff repaired. So now I'm holding this camera. And I really got Lumo in slow right now. Just kind of adapting because, uh, you know, uh, road conditions can be hard for me. You know, with bumps and all that because of my hips and my legs. I have to lock my right brace so I don't lose my balance. Just cruising up my neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. Wonderful people. Loving them. Uh, I can't dox myself, can I? No. Okay. Uh, love it here. Alright, now what you're hearing now is that's something really good for people like me that have balancing issues because. When that goes off, when that goes off, that tells me that uh, I'm not balancing on the board right, which means first bump, I'm probably going to go flying on my rear end. And that ain't going to be a pretty sight for anybody. Another thing I love about this is I got a problem with circulation on my fingers and uh, Lumo makes it easy. It's like I can put both my hands in my pocket. And now, it seems it's raining. Okay, I'm back on Lumo and we're going to do a a Delaware River drive-by. I like to call this the Delaware Riviera. Because to me, everything I need is all around. I don't need a bunch of beautiful places and restaurants. I need trees, 
I need wildlife and nature and squirrels and birds and all that other good stuff. You see that Luma ride is real smooth. Now, thankfully, I, I live in a good area where, you know, the park is well maintained. All right. And now, let's set up the shot and do the Delaware drive by. Here we go. Some kind of boat out there. I have a telescope thing. I'm going to be giving away one of those, actually. Uh, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll tell you about that. I don't like to bore you with all that crap about the camera. Oh, uh, hit the button, and, uh, subscribe, and blah, 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 blah. Baloney. You like me, you know where to find me. So we're doing a Delaware River drive-by. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, this one was pretty smooth. See, it's designed for people like me because I'm a klutz. You'll notice sometimes in uh, crossing corpses, if you, uh, if you uh, tune in, uh, I'm constantly falling. That is one of the more realistic aspects of PLC that we put into the story. I'm a klutz, let's face it. Uh, this is a not so beautiful sight, but like, doesn't that look like, like some kind of like sinister lab? All right, uh, right now I can only do this from this perspective, but I'm going to set up a tripod so I can show you a few things. Uh, yeah, this is good, this is good. I got some open air over here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what it feels like when you're on it and you do a spin, you know. Uh, keep in mind, this is this is handicap old pastor here, you know. Oh, look at this. wouldn't risk riding it on too much bumpy stuff. All those electronics that I saw in there when I lifted up the hood uh, look pretty delicate. I mean, I put some things in that I think will reinforce it, act as shock absorbers and whatnot, but uh, there's only so much you can do because of the limited space. 
and the amount of components involved in, in this thing working the way Okay, so it Lumo and I ducked out from the rain for a while. Now I want to show you a few of Lumo's other functions. Now I press that button and he goes into his robot mode. Okay, Lumo. It's kind of cool how he comes over. Say hello. Follow shot. Well, he has a keypad set of controls here. Follow being the most important one. You got your hotspot, your Wi-Fi, volume. Now it runs off of, uh, you know, the 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 internal computer, which I also have a subsystem installed here of my own, uh, my own AI that I created, which keeps this from interacting with the internet and the internet from interacting with it. It interacts, uh, uh, how do I put this, with a, a kind of satellite version of my computer installed in it? Yeah. So anyway, uh, but I need the basic Lumo operating system in order to operate the commands. And I'm about to show you how some of the commands Anyway, work. let's get back to Lumo. Okay, Lumo. Follow me. Here you are. I will follow you now. Please watch out for the people around. All right, now I'm going to film this backwards. Walking backwards now. Keep in mind I'm a cripple, so I don't do it very well. One of the things I hate about Lumo is this stupid music that it plays when it follows. I think... I don't know. Well, you would probably wouldn't be able to see me how he sees me. Let's see. He'll follow me. Now, he's following me on grass, too, by the way. Thing is, you can lose Lumo real easy. You know, you duck behind something. Look at this squirrel right here. Look at this guy. Not afraid of me. Not afraid of the, uh, the robot. He's just, like, chilling. Hey, dude. I swear to you, I am no more than four feet, maybe not even that much away. While I do love my gadgets, I love nature even more. When I can get a shot that close, I just have to take it. Okay. You know, it's more of Lumo following. You know, he'll stop and patiently wait for you to do whatever because he's a robot. Doesn't have feelings. Doesn't care. You shouldn't develop that kind of relationship with it. Lumo is a tool. It is good to have tools and robots and things like that if you know how to control them. Long time ago, I was a software guy and I created an AI system. So I have a little bit of knowledge of what I'm doing, but again, this was back in the Wild West days of DOS Shell and all the many wondrous things we could do with MS-DOS. Alright, I think we've had enough of Lumo following. Lumo, stop. Okay, Lumo. Very good with those commands, I have to say. All right, uh, let's ride. Let's ride. That one never seems to work. I can't get that voice command to work for nothing. But it's kind of cool, like, you know, I'll follow your head around and stuff like that. I don't know that he has any kind of alarm sensors built in, but I'm pretty sure I could put some on him if I thought it was necessary. Like, you know, I'm staying somewhere, or camping, or whatever. I intend to take him with me on the Betonia Trail. Now, what I'm going to...
PLC and I want to thank you for watching.